to fight on his Pokemon all the way down to earn more energy here. Yeah, so as I have a lot of energies, he need to debate which one should he come in to absorb of the whole energy of my bird. So he chose to come in with his own bird, which is reasonable because both of my I powerful charge moves are resisted by his bird because of the typing. Yeah, so I'm throwing like the flying type attacks. Uh, so because his bird is steel type, so he resisted at the attack on paper. So that's why you see he keep no shooting because those moves don't hurt that much. Yeah, so after I land this move, I know that I can just go straight for the fast moves, just like we are throwing all the time. So I can no shield this and then save all my shield for my last Asmon called Lekitang. So, oh, he has Lek as, as his fast attack, which you see here is just licking and licking. And we can lick this bird all the way down. And his last Mon has no hope against my Lekitang because he has, as all, all his move is ghost typing and that is Omega early resisted by my normal typing. So that's why you see he just simply give up and stop typing here because he know he, he, he has already lost at this point. Uh, everyone does, right? Uh, Daniel, you gave a different look. You, 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 kind of. Okay. So, all right. So, there's no introduction needed. This is a game or downloaded a billion times, and then actively 42 million people are playing. And to win, um, we're going to go through some statistics. What, what percentage? How elite a player? So, if you are in, you know, different industry, that what is the top top player? You know, wherever profession you are in. So think about the top, top player. And here you have someone, 16 year old, and Hape from, AKA Hape, right? And then and Yika is coming in here in, in Hong Kong. Uh, is someone, it's a news that is not often covered. You probably saw a, a clip or two in SCMP talk about a very, very brief moment about someone finance and sponsor it, them. But Talk about Hong Kong, where we want to rave about not only we are the financial hub, we are the tourist destinations, we are creative, we are startup you know, hub and everything. But here you have, this is a tech, not only tech has to do with tech, but also with talent. And But where does it come from? So today, even though the topic is to meet the champion, but the story is the making of the champion. And the making of the champion it involves so much more, and I would like to hand that um, to Sam, because Sam is in some ways started the journey of making a champion way before meeting Yikai and, and Hape. So um, continue to eat, and this is, I'm gonna go off script a little bit. So number one is think about, let's go to the, your, your uh, PowerPoint presentation, mm -hmm. and then we, we can go and we can go back to you a little bit more. So while you're setting it up, so what's the for for someone who play games? That it sounds so typical, right? In Hong Kong, you have some kids playing game. So tell us why, how do you? When was the first time you start playing this game? And was you already fell in love with Pokemon game day one when you play? So since this game started at in the 2016, in during Yamcha, uh, my uh, auntie Jun told me that uh, we can download uh, all this game now. So at first, I I played this game with my uh, aunt on the same account. So like after a few months, um, um, when I have my a new own phone, my own phone, I start other uh, to create an account and play with my uh, aunt. And we, we play it continuously uh, until now. 
So what are the challenges? How now what's what it means to be a champion? Before was a champion, was, did you ever thought about one day you will be the world champion? Mm, I think I started to have this dream, this dream back in in the time that I watched the 2022 World, world Championships held in London. And when I see it on the YouTube and Twitch stream, the world-class player playing against each other, uh, I admire them so much. And since then, I want to become um, a great player like them and to catch up with them and to meet them on the world stage. So go back a little bit. You see all of us holding that paper. And normally, I kind of go off script. One of the requests is, Think about when you were 16 year old, what were you doing you, if you have to go on public speaking, right? So this is a major challenge. So I'm glad everyone's, uh, uh, you already get to know, and this is all friendly, friendly crowd. No one's gonna challenge you on the game. But um, we, so we go on the script. So if you don't mind, uh, I'll let him go ahead and finish. Why don't you ask the question that I would ask? You want to ask him all the questions so he can finish what he already prepared. Okay, happy. So this video shows my grand finals. The video is paused right in the middle of the match. At this point, I have already done all the calculations in my head. I know my opponent is exactly four seconds away from using a power move. This move will knock out my bird. The only way A out is to dodge this attack. Okay. So Sam, please play the tape. So this is the moment he knew that he how to catch and out with the other opponent. Put the mic okay. on your on your. Okay. Happy. Yeah. Speak to the mic. Okay. Mm. Yeah. The brave bird. Yeah. It's enough for the so knockout. Here. One, the two, come in three, surf, four. Oh, and catch the move. Oh, my so Adam catch that surf and hold on to that energy on Stormy. Caleb, how much yeah, so this cat wins energy? me this game it's because I successfully need to save my bird up. and and save my bird for his last month, which is is technically a hug hunger -er to his last month. Can you explain to us how a game is played? Sure. So Pokemon Go battles are like a game of speed chess. You have to make a decision every half second. You can either attack, switch, use a powerful move, or simply do nothing. In each game, around 200 decisions are made in three minutes. So Sam, please show us the second tape. Okay. So if you guys are financial traders and think about that's you know, this is uh, this is how fast you have to make the decision winning or uh, not. So here, my bird or Pokemon is an attacker. My opponent's Pokemon on is a defender or a tank. We call it. What I'm trying to do. What am I trying to tell you? First, remember one simple rule. When two Pokemon use a powerful move at the same time, the attacker always unleashes its move first. As you can see, I'm about to use my powerful move, but I won't, won't use it just now. Why? I have to wait. Why? The opponent is five seconds away from using his powerful move. What's my point here? If I knock him out after five seconds, my bird will earn more energy than I just throw instantly. So now, play the tape. Five seconds from now. 
but the stone edge is a lot one to handle. And two on top of that, three the four five tap him up his first shield and throw it just before all his mod on got to his next powerful move into Giratina, and I both of them hit the same powerful move button at the same time. Yes, but since I'm using an attacker, I will always attack first. This is how I maximize my chances of winning by maximizing my energy on my bird. Okay. They already covered that. We already said that how to yeah. get into yeah. the game. Okay. By the way, this is Auntie June, Auntie <laughs> June. It was Auntie June who took Harpei to Hawaii this year. She was the actual manager. <laughs> okay. yeah. I, 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 I'm not the, I wasn't the manager. I was the commander. <laughs> commander. <laughs> by the way, just by the way, just by the way. Okay, Harpei. What made you want to play competitively? So I watched the World Championships on YouTube. The players were amazing. I wanted to be like them and represent Hong Kong at the championships. But back then, I wasn't very good. So I watched a lot of tutorial videos on YouTube to get better. Well done. Happy. Um, can you tell us about some of the challenges you face along the way? Yeah, sure. English. All the YouTube videos were in English. I didn't understand them at first. So I had to use Google Translate to help me. <laughs> but as my English got better, so did my skills in the game. Now, I can watch English videos and understand and most of them. Foreign players are so old kind. They teach me in English too. For example, before one match, my opponent said GLXF to me. I didn't understand the meaning at first. <laughs> yeah, so he kindly answered er, er, me about all this question. It means good luck, have fun. Since then, I used this phrase before every single game I play against different opponents. Well done, son. By the way, he barely spoke a word of English before playing Pokemon Go. Now, um, he does uh, live streaming uh, because he is happy and he has fans from all over the world. He uses English, answering everyone's questions fluently, which amazed me. Well done, well done. Happy. Um, can you walk? Wait, my wall. This is my wall. So my, uh, I have to ask you. Can you ask me? So my, my progress is impressive. Yes, Sam. Can you walk us through how this go, how my global ranking changed as I refine my skills? Right. Um, there is a global <laughs> ranking system in the game, run by Niantic, the game's developer. Right. Uh, in the first seven seasons, Harpe struggled a bit, but he recorded his gameplay, studied his mistakes, and watched a lot of YouTube videos in English. By season eight, he was ranked uh, world number 300 something in the world. The next season, 400, then number six, finally, about two years ago, in season 11, he became the world's number one player for the first time in his life, about two years ago. Yeah, so that's, that's amazing. And you were amazing. And when I look back, actually, I still feel amazing about it. But I know it wasn't an, an easy journey. Sam, can you tell us about some of the challenges that I and the team, that me and the team faced along the way? Right. Um, for them, financial barriers. To me, seeking sponsorships. You see, 
competing at the world level isn't just about skill. It's about being able to afford the trip as well. Um, about five years ago, six Hong Kong players gave up their chance to compete in London because the trip was too expensive. I knew I couldn't let that happen to Yikai and Team Hong Kong. What players might not realize is that uh, what, what players might not realize is how incredibly good they have to be to be there, or how difficult it is to participate in the world championships. Let me explain. I did some Google research. Okay? FIFA 23 used to have about 6 million active players. Dota 2, 13 million players. Counter-Strike 2, 14 million players. And Pokemon Go? 24 million. Out of those, about 200 qualify for Worlds. That's just not pawn, not, not, not 4%. One out of 200 something thousand players. You have, to, you have to give your best. And you have to beat the best. And you have to prove you are the best just to get there. By the way, Pokemon Go World Championships are organized by Play Pokemon Go. Oh, no, 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 Play Pokemon, a division of the Pokemon Company, just by the way. Oh, Hapei, what challenges did you face as a player from Hong Kong compared to players from other regions? Well, so unlike European or American players, they have periodically unlimited spots to qualify for Worlds. It's tougher for players in Asia. Korea, for example, oh, held Korean qualifiers last year. 60 people participated, and only the top four players qualified for Worlds. It's even tougher for Hong Kong players, because we have to battle against Singapore, Malaysia, and the Philippines. The top six players qualified for Worlds last year. This year, only two among um, a couple among of countries makes in one qualifier. <coughs> Sam, how did you handle the financial bad areas when and our team were ready to compete but lack of the resources? Right. Last year, we secured five out of six spots. It was incredible. But Yikai told me, Sam, I don't have money. Mom might not let me go. I promised Yikai and the team I would seek sponsorships for them. Here is the thing. I did this not only because it was easy, but because I thought it was easy. While seeking sponsorships, I was criticized, ignored, and teased every single day. Lang lang why should I sponsor you? Well, we have Yikai. We may be able to win the World Championships title. OK, have you won yet? Not yet. Then come back when you have. <laughs> honestly, honestly, um, it's, it's a reasonable move. OK, it's OK. I get it. Um, about a month later, at a wedding party, I ran into a representative of Team Hong Kong. I asked, why are you here? And he was like, I'm working part-time here to fund my trip to Japan. I really respected that. It's amazing, right? Unlike five years ago, all of them gave up. This one guy here worked very hard at the hotel to fund his trip. I really respected that, truly. I quickly introduced him to everyone at the party, hoping to secure sponsorships. A while later, a good friend of mine, Terry Kwok, came up to me and said, how much do you need? I was like, son, are you serious? You heard it right. I call him son. It, 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 it is the way we call each other. I don't know why. Because we go way back. We know each other since like, I don't know, we were like four or five. Anyway. Um, 
He gave me the money on the spot and suggested I talk to Professor Lai Chenglong, a liver expert, and happens to be a fan of the game. Professor Lai was so kind. He gave us 10,000, and he said, it's not much, I hope it helps. By the way, I no longer call Terry son anymore. Now, I call him father. <laughs> I call him father now. So you finally secured the funds to compete at Worlds. How did the team perform? Well, thanks to Professor Lai, Terry Kwok, and a little bit of my money, we finally broke the financial barriers for the first time in my life. How did we do then? All five of us, oh no, now, we can focus purely on winning. No more part-time job, no more, no more, no, no nothing. Just purely focusing on winning, right? How did we do then? All five of us lost in the first round without winning a single game. I'm really sorry. Why, you may wonder, Happy. Why do you think the team struggle at Worlds? Okay, you are the one who answered the question. Mm. You lost. Yeah, so oh, on my view, it is because experience. Unlike European or American players, in Hong Kong, we don't have real world tournaments. We only have a yearly online tournaments called the APEC qualifiers. Unlike uh, in Europe or America, they have uh, like multiple re regional tournaments, tournaments in different um, places, uh, like every single a week, I think. Yeah, so there are uh, some something that we don't know before we attend and such a real world uh, tournaments, like last year a world championship in the Japan. For example, the organizer told us to be there at nine, but I had to wait until three to play my first game. And because us, uh, we are separating into different groups to play, so I, uh, I was separated to the group D, EI, as I remember, uh, last year. So I need to wait until group A, B, C finish their matches, then I can start playing, my group can start playing in our matches. Also, the format of the World Championships is different from the global ranking in system. When you play online, you just pick three Pokemon and start the fight. Unlike in the World Championships, you pick six Pokemon to form your team at first. And then you study your opponent's team before the game and pick three to fight. It's played in a best of three series. We call it the Show six pick three format. I wasn't good at this format at first. After the defeat, I told Sam, I made a lot of mistakes, but I've learned a lot. I will challenge the title again next year. Well, um, at that very moment, I saw hope. Why? Most people give up. Some people need support. But Team Hong Kong, they are the kind of people who pick themselves up. I'm glad I was right. What Yikai was about to do totally blew me away. He wasn't a kid who talked the talk, but he managed to walk the walk. Right, Yikai, um, how did you prepare? after that defeat? So after the World Championships last year, some people told me, you are only good when you play at home, online. You don't have what it takes to win in the real world tournaments. I didn't get angry about that because I know that they were right. I had to sharpen my skills. So because of that, I participated in a weekly show six pack free league called the APEC League. I didn't like this format, but I knew once I joined the league, I had to play at least once 
a week against one opponent. It forced me to study my opponent's team. Sometimes it took days. Well done. And the results, Yikai won week after week. He became the champion of the APAC League, which, which was impressive. But Yikai didn't stop there. Over the past 12 months, there were four global ranking seasons. Yikai was ranked world number one three times. Hapei, how did the global ranking system help you prepare for the world championship? So I saw the global ranking system as a way to train my basic skills. I tried to make zero mistakes. I made a lot of a lot of mistakes in Japan last year. So I knew I had to perfect my skills to increase my chances of winning. Okay. Happy, tell us more. Yeah, so it's a, the, a key to improve my skills is about discussion. There is a Pokemon Go Telegram group in Hong Kong. We talk about how to improve every day. We record our gameplay and share it. We ask questions. If you lose, you ask how to win next time. If you win, you tell other people how you did it. I've learned a lot from others. For example, in the semifinals of this year in the World <laughs> Championships, everyone thought I would, I would lose. My bird Pokemon was weaker than my opponent's steel Pokemon. It was like a small kid fighting Bruce Lee. The kid cannot win, right? But is that true? So, this is a, like a small kid. This is like Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee will always win, but... Steel, nothing but net there for Yukai, but now we see Roger Steel in the back, and you saw Yukai actually nod his head. He's it's impossible for Hapei to win. He knows that Dragon impossible. Resist no way. Is going to yeah, away as everyone thinks, Steel, thinks he was, the same about so uh, Sam just to get to any that's, form of that's talk. Yeah, This is the problem. Normally with Registeel, with two shields, is in a great scenario, but even though it does uh, have a good positive matchup against Altaria, Altaria can just slowly start to chip away back at it. As you can see, Hapei's bird is Almost he die here. Did not hear. You can see Yukai is super happy about that. Given a little bit of the Reggie still to base. Finally, Happy knock him out. Yukai, yeah, so game at last, you know, we've seen uh, as I, I win. Why? Because I could win if I used two of my shields to protect my bird. I was lucky and won it in in the end. Most people will think I it's impossible for me to win there. Only a few people or know this trick, as the bird can win, sometimes wins the two Ushio scenario against opponent's steel Pokemon. How did I learn it? From the Telegram group discussion. He learns and learns and learns and learns. Right. Um, when Yikai was trying to achieve, sorry, what Yikai was trying to achieve, zero mistakes, was something unheard of. Pokemon Go battles are all about decision making. About five years ago, we, the players in Hong Kong, focused on making the right decisions at the critical moments. About four years ago, we were amazed by the world-class players. They didn't just make the right decisions. They made good decisions. Yikai, he makes perfect decisions. Each decision that he makes maximizes his chances of winning. How did he do this year? You may wonder. Okay. At the World Championships in Hawaii, Yikai faced the top 0.004%, the best of the best. Almost all of his opponents were the champions of their own country. For example, K Bon. Um, Japan champion, he uh, highest world ranking number four. Belsy Boy, his good friend or, or good enemy. Um, India champion, highest world ranking number one. 
Rocket, Island Champion, highest world ranking, number five. And in the grand finals, he faced his toughest opponent in Netherlands. He was ranked number two, I think, number two. So, number one versus number two, the grand finals. Yikai outperformed every single one of them without losing a single match. If these players are the ultimate players, then Yikai has to be the ultimate player's player. Happy, can you tell us more about the grand finals? A commentator once mentioned, it was impossible for you to defeat your opponent because he had a stronger team. Yeah, as everyone, un, un included in, in I fought all the efforts, he, ha he might have had a stronger team aim of Pokemon against me, but I had a stronger team aim of people. This is where Team Hong Kong really made a difference. Aaron, my coach, helped me build a, build a team. Before the World Championships, I talked to him about my play style and preferences. After understanding that, he created a team of six Pokemon for me. It wasn't an ordinary team. It was a team designed to outplay any opponent. Before the Grand Finals, I received a long WhatsApp message from Kai Feng another member of Team Hong Kong. He had analyzed all of my opponent's matches and gave me advice on how to defeat him. With their support together and a bit of luck in that, I was able to win in at last. Well done. Yikai, how did you feel after winning the Grand Finals? So after the Grand Finals, in an interview, I thank my opponent's inadequance. He has contributed so much to the Pokemon community. He organized weekly practice tournaments for people to, to practice. And including in me, I participated in almost all of them. I've learned a lot from um, him through these tournaments. Happy is such a lovely kid. Or should I say lovely geek? <laughs> right. Hape, what would you like to say to those who supported you along the way? I'd like to uh, take this opportunity, opportunity. Uh, opportunity to thank all, my, all our sponsors from last year. Without their support and giving us the chance to face the world's best, I wouldn't have been able to win this tournament right. and this year. Good, good work. There is a little story I'd like to share with you. When I told a sponsor, we lost in the first round. I expected disappointment, maybe even punishment. Why? I had promised them we could win the title. Not only did we fail, we even didn't win a single match. So, um, Lang Lang, I'm sorry. We lost in the first round without winning a single game. Professor Lai said, it's no big deal, keep fighting. Mr. Terry Cock, he said, it's okay, come home, son. Let's have dinner with the team, I'll pay. Work hard next time, okay? Yes, father. Um, Joe, can you please ask me this? <laughs> So before I even ask, I, I think there is a lot of similarities between in the real world and playing a game. If I were to write a book, what I learned from Pokemon Go, there is persistency, don't give up. There is perfection, strive for perfection, zero mistake. There is also teamwork and that you can't just rely on yourself. And of course, there is money, the finance behind it and everything gets down to it. And when you have all that, you have a world champion. So which gets to the question I actually asked the very first time, say, how much money or sponsorship are you actually looking for? Right. Um, Joe, let me put it this way. Level one, travel expenses, which is what I have been struggling with. 
by the way， 呢度有少少唔跟稿講。Yes, there, there, there is something Harpy and the team didn't know.、Uh, you see, I'm a teacher, a private tutor to be exact. My classroom was really small, and I just had a handful of students. After last year, I told myself that、um, securing sponsorship is extremely hard. It's the, the chances for a company sponsoring us seems slim, very, very slim. So instead of relying on others, I relied on myself. I worked harder. Fortunately, my student base grew, and、um, I work and work like、uh, seven days a week, no holidays. I didn't take a single day off, not even when I was sick, not even when I turned sour. Okay. My students didn't understand why, and they didn't understand why I didn't play Pokemon Go, because I told myself I have to be ready to give them money when they need it. Okay, so level one, travel expenses. Okay, level two, if we are lucky enough to get more support, there is actually other ways to、uh, qualify for the World Championships. We can go to Europe or. America to participate in the real world monthly tournaments, called regionals. By the way, if we win the title, we could qualify. But unlike European or American players, if they don't win, it's okay. They can keep competing, competing, competing until they get enough points. But we can't do that. The only way for us to qualify was to is to win. The title, the monthly tournament. Okay, this is level two. Ah, by the way,、uh, I will be responsible for organizing a local tournament. Invite all the media outlets. Hopefully, get more med social media exposure. Okay, and the winner of the local tournament of the Hong Kong tournament will get the sponsorship to challenge the title in Europe. This is level two. Level three. Maybe professional, maybe maybe, because Yikai is a self-taught world champion. But I'm thinking, maybe he can go further if he gets proper support, if he has proper training. I don't know. I'm not sure. And、uh, we have three more other players who is who are as good as Yikai. They are at the same. Battle level, in my opinion. Yeah. So I think that's kind of wraps it up a bit. I want to, because there's、uh, leave enough time for the group to ask questions. So well, I'm going to put the mic down, and it's,、uh, why don't we just kind of、uh, ask questions and just have a conversation? I think this is kind of. I hope the reaction was both inspirational and、so、and motivational in some way, and it's also new to many of us and. In some way, here you have a Hong Kong champion and working on the esports, and supposed to be in Hong Kong is a big on sports now, and then this is a different thing. So, undervalue, undercover, undercover from you know media, very few media coverage、uh, story, and then actually underappreciate in many ways. This is a, a global champions, and so, any questions from the audience? Anyone want to comment or questions? You don't have to ask questions. What makes you so addicted? Hi.、Uh, what makes you so addicted to this Pokemon Go game? Why not others but Pokemon Go? So I have been being addicted to Pokemon on scene、uh, since I was in primary school year two, I think. I started to watch Pokemon on cartoon on on the、uh, iPad of my my aunt. So after watching it, I I begin I began and to、uh, love it. It's an attack in it. So since 2016, this game has has been pr pr produced and organized to for players to play. Yeah, Kai. I, you, I, I, I think you also mentioned before you actually play other games before. You actually first game was not Pokemon, was it? 
with some other game? No? Okay. Yeah, so, so uh, once this game M, M is come up to my I, 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 eyes, front, the front of my eyes, I, I instantly start playing it with my eye arms because as I... It's just like the cartoon, yeah, right? Yeah, I think and this is just like in a cartoon. I would, lo I would, sup I would love to uh, perform um, like the a main character in the cartoon to catch Pokemon in the real world. I think this is so oh, meaningful oh, and just like a dream for me. And it has come true oh, after this game, um, after playing this game. Yeah. So nice. besides I for that, the <coughs> the front end space that I grab I'm since playing this game is also another reason. Um, that I, I have been playing till now. Oh, the game, the front end that I met at in this game were, were both very nice and very kind to me. It, they teach us, they, they teach me a lot about like how, how this game am, am played, or even and like. I sometimes ask them the question in the real world, and they will, will answer. Uh, as good as they uh, can and to me. Okay, yeah. thank you. So if I can summarize, I know there was a lot. You know, when you're when you're at, at that age, you can articulate in front of all the adults with jackets. That's scary in some way. So it sounds like it. Not only you first got attracted to the characters, so it's visual attraction, right? Number two, you actually have a family member who play with you, so it's early interaction. Number three, you actually have a community. A community who support you and grow with you. I think that's my key takeaway. That's yeah, exciting. exactly. Okay, thank you. So, all right. So, questions? Have you ever tried leveraging off that skill set and you know use it on a different game and see how would that react? Maybe you could explore other games and be like, oh wow, actually I could be a master of like other games as well. That could be interesting. Mm, yeah. So personally, I ha haven't tried that uh, before or or till now. But m maybe I w I would like to try it in the future. So one thing, if I can comment, is it's barely enough that he made it out of school. He ha I have to write a letter to his principal today <laughs> he, uh, to get him out of the hall. So imagine you are world champion, but you can't even exit. You don't even have a hall pass. Uh, if you, you, if uh, an adult doesn't, you know, give him a pass, and also the time, right? But um, I think maybe Sam can comment a little bit. How is how much how demanding it is to focus on one game, and for like you have to give up the game to focus on the racing. Right. The answer is simple. Everything, everything, everything. Um, there, there is one thing, I, I have to say. Yikai will be taking the public examinations next year. I, tell, I told everyone, he is not allowed to play any tournaments before, uh, before the, the public exams. And uh, uh, Brian, Dr. Brian, is a member of Team Hong Kong, specializing in cancer, is responsible for his studies. <laughs> so Team Hong Kong is supporting him with his studies, not Pokemon Go. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Any other questions? Ladies, you want to ask? Yeah, I, I, I have a question. So I was like thinking to ask like, what is your plan next year? But I think your plan is like DSE. <laughs> yeah. So my second question is like, can you explain like, how's your nickname come from, Hape? <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, so maybe I... You I, have to I, use Chinese. Yeah, I, I have to oh. explain it in Cantonese. Okay, go. Yeah, so, I我玩了這個遊戲,一兩年之後,他就推出了PUE系統 
台灣嘅 YouTuber 啦。咁嗰陣時我就用我阿媽嘅 Gmail account 就叫 Baby Shop 啦，就入去睇一個我叫 B 星人嘅台外外灣人嘅直播。咁後屘就入埋佢哋嘅 Telegram 嘅 group 啦。咁因為可能台灣人用。哈哈皮誒呢個購物網站比較多啦，咁就幫 Baby Shop 係就 Shop 係咁就幫我改咗個花啊名，開頭咧就 mean 啲嘅叫叫 Baby 哈皮，因為普通話拼音嘅 Baby Shopy 啊，咁後後屘 A 就後屘原來先知道佢咁叻嘅，所以就大家都好禮貌，<笑>就拎走個 Baby 直接叫佢哈皮。係所所以誒，我係一開頭識台灣人先嘅，咁後屘再識到。我香香港嘅玩家嘅時候，咁佢哋就係喺台灣人嗰度識 A 我翻嚟嘅，咁所以就 keep keep 住叫哈皮呢個名啦。Act actually great question. He he has a he has a goal. 你個偶像係邊個？嗯、um, ，係一係，嗯係。你可以講翻英文嘅。Okay. <laughs> yeah, so my I I go is to like I Chang Ka Long to win. Another world championship title next year in I think Anaheim I think in near to California next next year. Next year, yeah. I I think it's possible. Why? He doesn't listen to me. He participate in tournaments every time. Every night he he play and play plays and plays and plays without telling me. So maybe he can win the title again. I think、uh, we about to wrap up. So, if there are any more questions,、uh, maybe one more, one more question for anyone. Anyone? Okay. Yes. I actually, want to, I actually want to understand about the motivation of the support group as well, because kind of like the player, then he gained the title. So I could totally understand why he is more addicted to into the game. But how about the support group, like Sam、yeah. or the other people in the group? Very, very why they are so devoted into、uh, yeah. all these to make? Yeah. That's the champion I, here. That very good question because I had the same question at the beginning. We'll say, what's the prize? Is that a hundred thousand? Is that the you know the the gold medal that actually government's going to give you the grant and everything? So tell us what exactly you win. Actually, what's the prize? And then tell us the motivation. Right. Um. I'm、uh, okay. In Cantonese, we say we don't have Zhang Gam. We only have Zhang Sheng. In English, we say. They don't. The organizers don't have funds, so we can just have fun. There is only one exception: the World Championships. The only exception, Ha Pei won twenty thousand U.S. dollars. Uh, no. Uh, I think fifteen thousand. Oh, fifteen thousand U.S. dollars for winning the World Championship title. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so motivation. So I hope that answered the question a little bit. It's more about fun. It's about actually your 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 process. Yeah. So process. oh the the motivation is is also oh include in this community. So about the community in this game. So in in Cantonese is 佢唔似其他啊遊戲咁樣，其他遊戲就好似誒你為為咗贏，你唔會將啲 skills 啊，分享響俾人咁樣，但係呢只 at game 就唔係嘅。試過同好多本地啦、台灣啦、啊，包括外外國歐美嘅玩家交交流過，佢哋誒都好唔論唔識咁樣分享響自己誒，譬如自己嘅隊伍啦，或者誒誒入邊當中嘅技巧啦，而且喺打嘅當安刻係點樣諗去諗去打每一場對戰啦。所以網上亦都有好多 You YouTuber 啊啦，去分享佢嘅對誒唔同埋其中嘅操操作啦，就好似我頭先嘅對頭先決賽嘅對手 Inadvance 咁，佢都係一個 Pokemon 嘅 Pokemon Go 嘅 YouTube content creators 啊，啊咁佢都有每個我月誒每個禮拜咁樣整啲 practice tournament 出嚟俾人參加，咁就好似頭先咁講，佢呢只 game 嘅 form 佢 World Championship 嘅 format 同你平時。Global ranking system 打嘅日常對戰唔一樣啦，咁所以其實啊，除咗歐美嘅玩家、亞洲嘅玩家係冇乜機會可以練習到呢個 show six pick three 嘅 format 嘅，咁就要靠民間一啲啲人去自發去搞呢啲咁嘅誒 tournament， 去俾啲人可以以練習去為之後正式嘅比賽做準備啦。咁 inadequate inadequate 係其中一個最大嗌嘅教授啦，搞得最多嘅比賽。So with that, uh. 
want to give a round of applause to our Thank you. Speaker. Thank you for being, being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.